In the headlines, the United Workers Party promises to review the Citizenship by Investment Programme and pursue a new foreign policy focus as it launches its 2019 manifesto. Prime Minister Skarit proposes job reclassification as a more suitable way forward as public officers pursue salary negotiations. And governments applauded for its proactive stance in reducing the incidence of cervical cancer. I'm Andrea Lee with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up, start the day. Maybe it's sheer grit. Maybe it's your ethics. Maybe it's because you know people like you are waiting for people just like you. We all have our reasons. And for Republic Bank, that reason is you. Every little thing, every big thing, it's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 182 years, if it's one thing we're sure about, is that the difference is you. We're here to help. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, a comprehensive review of the Citizenship by Investment Program. Julian Morris has that story. One of the priorities of a UWP government outlined in the party's 2019 manifesto the United Workers Party formally launched its 2019 manifesto Real Change Vision Dominica on the weekend. It promises the development of a new foreign policy with a focus on regional integration and partnerships with African nations. Resilient housing for all and the construction of an international airport are also included in the manifesto. Mr. Linton told supporters Dominicans living in the diaspora raised the 16,000 US dollars needed to make the manifesto a reality. Vision Dominica is the policy platform the policy platform which will secure the alignment of the resources of our nature island for the development of a nature island society of equal opportunity and the nature island economy that works for all the people of Dominica This is the era of real change. Real change in which we will leverage the nature island blessings that our God has bestowed on us so that our education, our health care, our life in the world of work will all combine, will all come together to make us the strongest, healthiest, and in time, wealthiest people on God's earth. The UWP has also launched a social contract with the youth of Dominica. Never again will young people in this country have to live through a long, dark night of 15 years 
not knowing whether they're coming or going, not knowing whether they will ever find a job, not knowing whether they will ever be able to build their families, own their own home, own their own vehicle. A long night of going back into the future constantly without end, in which their parents and grandparents remain worried. What is going to happen to my children? Will my children ever be able to do what I did for myself and for them? And will they ever be able to do what we did for them, for their children, for their grandchildren? That long dark night of hopelessness and despair comes to an end on the 6th of December or whenever we vote. Because we are winning the next election. Meantime, Mr. Linton's wife, Shelley, gave the audience some insight into the man who many have criticized as lacking compassion. Lennox is the best role model for my children and those around him. We both cherish the values of honesty, humility, and respect installed by our parents. These are values I think all of us should have. Yes. My husband Lennox is God-fearing and a true family man. One of the qualities I admire about him is that he has a big heart and he makes huge sacrifices for others. This regime has gone hard after my husband, who has been nothing but courageous for his own. I stand with my husband. and wakes up every morning thinking of you, the people, and how we can make Dominica a better place to live, a better place to work, and a better place to enjoy. My husband entering politics was no surprise to me at all. For the 37 years I have known Lennox, he has always been passionate about the truth, he dislikes injustice, and has always spoken against corruption. In more top stories, Prime Minister Skerritt has accused the United Workers Party of copying the DLP manifesto. Mr. Scarry told supporters in Dallas on the weekend the UWP has adopted a number of the DLP's ideas and basically repackaged them. Election was announced on, the, on November 5th. And within a week of the announcement, the Dominican Labour Party presented its manifesto to Dominica. We had to wait for an entire month from the Workers' Party, and they eventually presented something that people can have copies of and people can see. But I had the opportunity, because somebody sent it to me by WhatsApp, and I went through it. And I want to say to you, we were not wrong when we said these guys were going to copy what Labour Party has. When you look at the letter that Linton wrote in his manifesto, he took basically the letter that Skerritt has in his manifesto, ladies and gentlemen. They changed, they changed their policy on marijuana and they have adopted Labour's policy on marijuana. They changed their policy on the yachting industry and they adopted Labour's own. It is really a copy and paste, ladies and gentlemen, because these guys do not have the ability, the discipline, the capacity to put a document together. And you know, when you are contesting an election, ladies and gentlemen, the manifesto is the most important document. That is a document where you articulate your vision, your plans, and your programs for the country for the next five years and beyond. And we waited, and we waited, and see what we got. But we were not surprised, ladies and gentlemen. We always told you that the only party in Dominica that's articulated a vision for Dominica is the Dominica Labour Party.
The Prime Minister reminded supporters that Dominica's future is at stake and in this election their vote is critical. I have said to you and I'm saying to you again that this election is the most important election in our political history. This is an election about your future. This election is about the future of your family. And this election is about the future well-being of the Commonwealth of Dominica. And it is important for us to come out, each one of us who is a registered voter, and vote on election day. Staying home cannot be an option, ladies and gentlemen. You have you recognize that you are safer and Dominica is safer with the Dominica Labour Party. And you know, in times of crisis, you can rely on the leadership of the Dominica Labour Party to steer the ship safely home. On to health matters. President of the Dominica Cancer Society is applauding government's proactive stance in reducing the incidence of cervical cancer. Earlier this year, Minister for Health Dr. Kenneth Daru announced that the ministry will be administering the HPV vaccine among grade 6 children in the first term of the 2019-2020 school year. The HPV vaccine will provide protection against the human papilloma virus or HPV, certain strains of which can cause genital warts and cervical cancer. Personally, I think it's a good idea simply because uh, there are studies that are showing that many of the cervical cancers are being detected through in women who are sexually active and that the virus resides within men. So once somebody is sexually active, you can be exposed to the HPV um, virus. And the vaccine is a vaccine that is supposed to um, give you a natural immunity from ever getting cervical cancer. Alexander says research by the World Health Organization shows an increase in cancer cases in the region. The Cancer Society president is urging parents to support this move by the Ministry of Health. It is a fact that one of the leading cancers affecting women here in Dominica, and I think globally as well after breast cancer is cervical cancer. Then if there's a way of giving a vaccine that can um, immunize your child and prevent this child from ever having to deal with cervical cancer, then I would want to encourage the use of this vaccine by parents because um, individuals in the health care um, providing health care services will tell you that uh, it is very painful. It is a very painful among, you know, most of the cancers, cervical cancer. Um, it's, if it's late detection, it is sometimes very difficult to treat. Um, you know, so yes, if we can, if we are able to immunize against it, then I would be really very supportive of that. And from what I know, uh, there is a protocol and the Ministry of Health is in fact moving in that direction. So we, we welcome that. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Si ou ni maladi HIV, e bien maladi sexua. Si ou pa protege kou lo ka ni sex ek plizye moun, sa ka y mette la vi ou ak wadanje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou prezen, ek an tanki ka vini ek maladi ya. Sevi yo kondom chak fwa ou ka ni sex. Chanje ki, i e potan pou dekouve maladi ya bonè. Ou sa viv ak bon soti, menm si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwen responsabilite, proteje kou ou ebi li zot. Examine kou. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. 
Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited Flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Welcome back. Prime Minister Skyrit has invited public officers to consider the benefits of job reclassification, which would provide upward mobility along with salary increase. The Prime Minister's statement in Dallas on the weekend comes against the background of dissatisfaction by the Public Service Union at the pace of salary negotiations. The Police Welfare Association also recently protested over salary increase. I have said to them, I, will, I am the first person in Dominica who will admit that salaries should be higher in Dominica. I accept that. I agree with that. There's no argument about this. But what would a 2% increase in your salary of 2000 mean to you? My proposal and the government proposal is that let us go through a process of reclassification. We believe that through reclassification exercise, you can elevate yourself on the position where you are to a higher position. And in the process, you will get a higher salary. You will get a higher salary and we can address systematically, systematically the issue of salary increase. But adding a 2% or 3% or even a 5% on 2,000, what is that? It's not going to serve you any good. It will, the union leaders will boast. They got 2% or 5% increase. But you, the employee, it's not going to benefit you in any significant way. What we need to do is to go through a process of reclassification. And so you elevate people from where they are and their salaries will also be increased at the same time. And we believe that is the better route to travel. That is the better route to travel. And that's what we're saying. But I'm saying to public officers that you know for a fact that when you come to Roosevelt Skerritt as your prime minister, your job is secured, ladies and gentlemen. You as a public officer in Dominica, you are safer with the Dominican Labour Party. You are safer. We had Tropical Storm Erica. We had Hurricane Maria. And the government did not send one person home. Including those who were temporary in the service. Not one person home. We kept them because we understand that people needed a salary more than ever at that time, ladies and gentlemen. And we ensured, notwithstanding the devastation by this hurricane and the storm, that every public officer got his salary on time. And in time, ladies and gentlemen. We have more public officers with degrees and certificates because of the policies and programs of the Dominican Labour Party. Adults urge to bridge the divide with youth to reduce the incidence of juveniles clashing with the law. Julian Morris explains. The challenge from clinical traumatologist and clinical therapist Hanif Benjamin. Benjamin is the facilitator of a two-day capacity building training of the OECS USA Juvenile Justice Reform Program, which got underway on Monday. He implored Dominicans to make the effort to reach out to young people to help them avoid the risk of conflicting with the law. It is my belief that as we continue to reform the justice system, in particular for our children and adolescents, all of us bound on in this room knows that we must find a way to reach them. More and more throughout the Caribbean, even in Trinidad and Tobago where I am from, there's a constant misnomer. Our youths are constantly complaining that we are not reaching them. And it is for these reasons, through this partnership, as we continue to build capacity, we continue the training stride as to how can we reach our young people? How can we speak differently? How can we get the results that we so need? All of us know that our youths are in peril. 
And if we cannot but bridge the divide, we would have lost them forever. Minister for Family and Gender Affairs says Dominica has already seen benefits of the Juvenile Justice Reform Project. Dominica has benefited in a number of areas, the most outstanding one being legislative reform. Particular attention has been given to the training of a cadre of secondary school teachers, students, for undertaking peer mediation at schools while assisting others with the requisite skills to better manage their anger. Ladies and gentlemen, another tangible benefit already gained from the current juvenile justice reform project is capacity development of practitioners from various disciplines. Other areas of training are being pursued. Minister Daniel also called on parents to play a more active role in their children's development. Practitioners do play their part to ensure that children develop holistic lives. However, the duty first and foremost rests with parents. The family is the nucleus of society and therefore the part being played by parents in the growth and development of children cannot be misunderstood and should never be underestimated. When patience is exhibited in the family, children learn not to react negatively to given situations. It is said that love always protects. Parents are called to do everything to protect the children and to provide stability for them. The two-day workshop is being attended by a wide cross-section of society, including members of the judiciary, officers of the court, social welfare officers, family counselors, and school teachers. And the first domestic insurance company to phase out operations by late next year. Here again is Julian Morris. This, as the insurance company of the West Indies, ICWI, helps FDIC manage its post-Maria claims and eventually take over the operations of the company. Dominica is the second English-speaking Eastern Caribbean island where ICWI has established an office and the ninth Caribbean country which hosts ICWI. President of the insurance company of the West Indies, Paul Lilo, says ICWI will be offering clients similar packages to what obtains at FDIC. ICWI is in effect um, taking over the portfolio of FDIC. Um, so we are offering all FDIC renewing clients an opportunity to insure with us um, and hopefully um, at the same terms or better depending on how our calculations work out. Um, we're offering the same service because we have the same team. We took over the team from um, First Domestic. Um, so we're happy to say that it'll be the same faces. Um, but again, we're also hoping that more and more people from Dominica will hear about us and come and at least give us an opportunity to quote. Um, with respect, First Domestic, they will continue to have clients um, until probably November of next year at which point they will stop writing business going forward um, and they will focus on settling those claims that they still have to pay from, um, from the hurricane. ICWI is celebrating 50 years this year and specializes in motor vehicle and property insurance. The hope is to see the company set up shop in a total of 17 Caribbean territories by the year 2025. We have a timeline. We would like to enter a new market every year. Um, and so, you know, 2020 is a new year for us. Um, we had hoped to get here a little quicker, um, it, um, but, you know, these things happen and, and, you know, we have to go through all the processes. Um, and, you know, we'd like to thank the regulator for being as accommodating as he was in terms of helping us through the, the process um, and making sure that we dotted our I's and crossed our T's. Um, so, yeah, we, we look forward to being in, in, in one or two more islands next year. Um, and. Um, continuing to do that up until about 2025, by which time we think we'll get to, we'll get to that magical number um, that we're looking for. While ICWI is a new player in the Dominica market, Lilo is promising the company will be on its toes when it comes to its corporate social responsibility. It's very important to us. Um, our major thrusts at the moment are education and cancer, breast cancer. So we are the primary sponsors of a breast cancer walk in Jamaica and a breast cancer walk in St. Kitts. Um, we will be moving 
um, to start making those contacts as we move forward to see who we partner with. We're also a big, fun, um, a big funding agency for an organization called Junior Achievement. We are currently uh, working with Junior Achievement in St. Kitts. We have just made preliminary contact with Junior Achievement in Trinidad, and we will be uh, making contact with Junior Achievement here as well to make sure that um, the young um, people of um, Dominica are exposed to the principles and foundation stones of Junior Achievement, which we think are imperative for any developing nation. The company opened its doors to the public two weeks ago. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. The United Workers' Party promises to review the Citizenship by Investment Program and pursue a new foreign policy focus as it launches its 2019 manifesto Prime Minister Scariot proposes job reclassification as a more suitable way forward as public officers pursue salary negotiations and the government applauded for its proactive approach in reducing the incidence of cervical cancer. Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You can also access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow.